blessed assurance Jesus is mine Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine Heir of salvation Purchase of God Born of His Spirit Washed in His blood This is my story Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. You know, we've got that assurance that he's going to take care of us no matter what. There's nothing going to come against us that can't be overcame came through Jesus Christ. You know, he's helped a lot of people through time. You go all the way back to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They refused to bow down to a king to the graven image that the king made, even upon their, you know, ordered by that king to bow down before that graven image. But they had faith in God and said even if he didn't deliver them from that fiery furnace, that uh, they would not bow down. Which made old Nebuchadnezzar that much matter. He fired that furnace up even hotter than what it was supposed to be. He had them bound and he had the men to lead them up to the mouth of the furnace and to cast them in. And it was so hot that it consumed the very people that were throwing them in to the furnace. And it wasn't long that Nebuchadnezzar noticed, said, were they not three that we cast into this furnace? And uh, they said, yeah, you, we, we just throwed three people in it. So I see four, and one of them looks like the Son of Man. Yeah, Jesus went down there because of the faith of those three children. He went down there with them, walked around, untied them, let them get up and move around, stretched the legs out. And uh, they said then that Nebuchadnezzar went to the mouth of the furnace and called them out. 
So they come walking out, there wasn't a hair on their body singed, and their clothes didn't even smell like smoke. Have you got that much faith? Don't tell me that you've got that much faith. Because I don't think that there's anybody in this world today that's got that much faith. I strive to have faith like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I strive to have the faith that Daniel had when they cast him in the lion's den. He wasn't worried. The king came along and said, Daniel, has thy God delivered thee? And Daniel said, here am I. You know, that king was probably very, 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 very delighted to hear Daniel's voice right then. You know, with everything going on today, think about how the spike in the coronavirus here in the last couple of months and what's been going on, well, the last month, the last couple of weeks, actually. Think all the things that got our eyes off the prize, how everybody was praying that God would bring us through all this coronavirus. And everybody was believing and trusting in Him. And then the uh, riots and all that came about, and we got our eyes off the prize. People, God won't bless you if you take your eyes off of Him. You want your blessings from God. You want to see God do something great for this country. You got to get your nose to the grindstone and work and pray and pray. Just like... Uh, when Jesus had took John and Peter and James and went up on the mountain and uh, he had that little conversation with Moses. And they were coming down and there was a man there with his child that was, was possessed. And uh, he said, your disciples tried to cast the demon out, but they couldn't. And Jesus said, oh, you little faith. And he cast the demon out. And his disciples went to him and said, Master, why could we not do this? He told them why. He said, these only come out with great faith and fasting. Much prayer and fasting. Faith, prayer, and fasting. We've got a lot of demons in this country, and there's a lot of demons in this world. And we've still, the power's still there to get all this gone and over with. The difference is we don't have the faith they had. They had faith. And you know, Jesus told them, says, you, you have faith because you've seen, but greater is those the works that will be done by those that haven't seen and have that faith. We've got more faith, potentially, than they did because they saw and believed. We don't have that luxury. We've never seen him. We've never looked at him. But I believe in him because I know and feel him every day inside of my heart. If you don't feel him inside your heart moving and wanting you to do more, you don't have that blessed assurance that I'm talking about. Hit your knees right now and ask him to forgive you and, and show you the way to have that faith, to be that powerful. I want to get closer to him every day. I want to see great things happen between now and and when he comes to take us home. I've said it many a times. I hope he catches me working. I hope he catches me working. Because I love the Lord, and I'm thankful for all that he's done for me. I, by all means, I should be dead right now. I mean, I had a major heart attack. Destroyed almost the whole left side of my heart from that heart attack. I've got a pacemaker and defibrillator. They want me to have more work done. But God said, my grace will be sufficient. And I will keep working for him until he comes and takes me home one way or the other. Old-fashioned way. Norma, you tell Keith that I will see if I can find it. And if I can find it, old-fashioned preacher. I will look it up, and I will start working on it this afternoon, and I will try to do it tomorrow. I will send you a, I'll send you a message whenever I get it figured out and how to play it, and am going to put it on. I'll make sure you guys get to watch it. And uh, Malia, love you and Jamie. I hope you guys are doing great. I had a great fourth. 
the good Lord has blessed me. We had a wonderful service today. I hope you guys will take the time to watch it. I reposted it on my wall from Peace Haven Community Church. Edwards family, oh mercy. The, the singing was amazing and the presence of the Lord was amazing and the preaching was amazing and, and God is good. God is great. He just, uh, he blessed us all over the place today. I am, uh, and I'm continuing it on. I'm, I'm just now getting home. I sat down after I changed my clothes and got this old guitar out and I wanted to sing Blessed Assurance for you guys because I have that assurance in my heart that good Lord's going to take care of us. All we got to do is do our part. Hit them knees. Pray. 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 Pray until something happens. Let's keep pushing, people. Let's push. We'll pray until something happens, all of us together. If it's just the three that are watching with me today, just the three of us in one mind and one accord, we can change a lot of things in this world. All we got to do is pray. And if everybody that watches this later, you guys join in with us and we get in that agreement with that, you know, Jesus said, if you come to me with an agreement, two or three, it'll get done. I, I know it will. I wouldn't be here if it didn't. A lot of people prayed for me. And that's how I pulled myself. I, I didn't pull myself. That's how the good Lord pulled me through. I love everything that he's done for me. I love the fact that every morning when I wake up, I can thank him for the next day, the, another opportunity, the next opportunity to do something for him. Y'all, we are so blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. That's all I can say. I hope you guys will have a great day. Smile at each other. Love each other. Be good to each other. And remember, the good Lord has blessed us and given us a great assurance that he's going to take care of us. Stand up with your faith. Stand up for him. You put him first, everything else will be added to you. And I can promise you that. I can promise you that. Because ever since I started putting him first, I don't worry about nothing. I don't have to worry about nothing because everything's right there for me. And I can't thank him enough. Yeah, Jerry, well, it's just a small world, ain't it, brother? But you know, the good Lord's taking care of us. And he will continue to take care of us. And Ronnie... It's good to see you on here. Love you, brother. Everybody have a great day. Smile every chance you get. Share what the Lord's done with you for, from now till the time he comes and takes us home. Share it with everybody you can. Every time you get the opportunity to open your mouth, share something God's done. Love y'all. We'll talk to you soon.